It's the card game where ace is always high and deuce is always low. Turn any two cards in the deck face up, then just try to fit a card in between that's neither higher nor lower. It's just that simple to play the all-new big money, big prize game, Split Decision. And now, here's your host, Jim McCrow. And most beautiful casino. Don't you like this? Ah, I feel so rich in here. I feel so good. This is Split Decision, where with just a little luck in the turn of a card, our players can win loads of cash and fabulous prizes. And if you don't believe me, the next time you see Bob Friedman, ask him. Because he won one match. He won $15,400 in cash and prizes. I think you ought to meet him. He's our returning champion, Bob Friedman. Hello, Robert. How you doing? Congratulations. I love your enthusiasm. You're enthusiastic and you're not, you got all excited in playing mm -hmm. that pot limit bonus. You ready to play again? I'm ready. All right, so you sell medical equipment, right? Isn't it, right? Mm -hmm. Good for you. Nice to okay. have you with us. Let's meet your challenger. Here is Miriam Morgan. Hi, Miriam. How are you? Hi. Oh, pretty lady. Say hello to Bob. Scoot right in here, pretty lady, and tell us about you. Well, I'm a secretary for an advertising agency. Good for you. And ready to play a uh, split decision? Yes. You a card player? Yes. I think you'll do quite well here. So. Let me explain to our folks at home, you know how to play, and also to you. The object of our game is to control this deck by answering toss-up questions. Every time you give me a correct answer, you control the deck. If you're incorrect, control goes over to your opponent, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, you saw the opening with all the cards flying around. That's as simple as our game is. You find two cards, and you try to put one in the middle that's a fit. I think our friends at home will catch on very quickly. However, with two players, a little more strategy will be involved, but we'll explain it to you as we go along. Let's begin. I'll lead you through the first hand. And players, if you're ready, let's check your buzzers. To give it a check there, Bob. Bob's, Bob is a, what we call a punch buzzer. How do you do it, Marion? Let's see your style. It's kind of an elevator down. A little boom. All set? Set. Okay, let me break the seal on this brand new deck, and we'll get the money rolling on split decision. Our first toss-up, and our toss-ups are very interesting. I think you'll enjoy them. First, we have Venus de Milo. Next, we have Whistler's Mother. And then we have Ernest Hemingway. Now, the clue that fits with two of those answers is a farewell to arms. Miriam. That fits with Venus de Milo and Ernest Hemingway. Right you are. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking as you played that, Venus de Milo couldn't play our game because of this. You just jumped right in there. Very important. You have control of this deck. The strategy now unfolds before your very eyes. Our first card coming out is a queen. You want it on your side in the middle or give it to Bob? Miriam's going to take the queen over there. What she's trying to do is create as wide a split for herself while narrowing the split for her opponent, Bob. The next card is a five. What do you think? You want it in the middle? You want it over here? I'm going to give it away. You're going to give it away. It's a five. That would have been a pretty wide split. You people at home, I think, are saying, oh, I'd have kept that five. The common card is a queen. See, that's how sometimes the turn of a card will backfire on you. It is very important now. Hands on buzzers. Who controls the deck? Here's our next toss-up question. First, we have avocados. Next, we have money. And then we have artichokes. Players, the clue that fits with two of these is they don't grow on trees. Over to you, Bob. Uh, that fits with money and artichokes. Right you are, sir. Oh. Decision time, Bob. Do you want to try to fit a card that's neither higher nor lower than the queen of the five, or do you want to try to bust her? What I'm are the best? Bust her! You're sure? I'm positive. You're sure. The I'm only positive. card, Miriam, that would work for you is a queen. If I turn a queen over, we will give you the first hand. If I don't turn a queen over, the hand goes to Bob. You ready? Uh -huh. Come on, queen. Let's Come find on. out. It is a nine. The hand goes to Bob. Bob has the first hand. Miriam? Let's get ready to play our second hand of split decision. We go back for a toss-up question. First, we have Milton S. Hershey. Next, we have Richard Dawson. Then we have Milton Berle. The clue that fits with two of these is they're famous for their kisses. Miriam. That fits with Milton S. Hershey and Richard Dawson. Absolutely, absolutely right. Absolutely right. 
Control of the deck goes to you, Miriam. Again, the strategy, let's see if it works for you. The first card is a three. Yeah. On your side? I'll keep on the it. center? Or I'll, you want to get a pen? I'll keep it. All right. Miriam's keeping the three. Let's find out what she does with this card, which is a four. I don't think you've ever seen a card you did not want more. The next card, the common card, is an insurance marker. I'll explain that. Whoever wins, three hands. We'll take that insurance marker with them to our pot limit bonus. It could be really worth a lot of money for you. We have a jack. Whoa! Mary, and this time the cards fell for you. You have a three jack spread and a jack to a four spread. Very important, who controls the deck this time? Our next toss-up question, we have a spoon, we have your fork, and then we have your dish. The clue that goes with two of these is, they ran away in hide it a little. Over to you, Bob. Uh, that fits with spoon and dish. Spoon and dish. Fork didn't get to go. Fork didn't get to go. Pretty wide spread here, Bob. Yeah. Here's um, your options. You have a jack to a four spread. What do you want to do? I'm going to go for it. Go He's going for it. The only card that would hurt him would be a three or a two or a jack. I'm sorry, or a queen or a king or an ace. The card you got, sir, is a two. Oh! Mary has a hand. Our game is tied. One hand for our challenger, one hand for our champion. Don't you go away. We have more excitement coming right up. play now you've got one hand our champion Bob has one hand and you folks at home know how to play let's go back to our toss-ups for control of the deck first we have Jetstream next we have Peter Paul and Mary then we have Gulfstream the clue that fits with two they're known for blowing in the wind Miriam that fits with Peter Paul and Mary and Jetstream right you are I... why did I think you were about to say Gulfstream Remember, the player who wins three hands will go play our pot limit bonus for fabulous cash and prizes. This is very important. As we come out with our first card, you have control. It's an eight. You want it in the center? You want to give it on your side? Going to give it over here. For you card players at home, you know the eight is the exact center of the deck. That belongs to you, Bob. The next card is a ten. Put it in the middle or you'll put it over here? What do you think, Mary? Put it in the Miriam. Well, Miriam has narrowed the, uh, the, the split for Bob. The card you have is a 10. Whoa, okay. That's the way the cards fall. Let's find out who controls the deck. First, we have Maine. Then we have Oregon. Then we have Vermont. Players, the clue that fits with two of these is they border an ocean. Yes, Bob. Uh, that fits with Oregon and Maine. Oregon and Maine is correct, sir. Pacific, Maine on the Atlantic. Vermont is landlocked, as they say. The decision is, are you landlocked? Um, it's a tough question. Do you want to try to bust her, or do you want to try to put a card in there? Okay, we're going to bust her. I've never seen so much confidence in my life. We're going to bust her, he says. <laughs> Let's find out. If it's a 10, Miriam, the hand is yours. If it is not a 10, our champion is two hands up. Let's find out. It is a 7. Bob has the lead. Two hands to one hand. That's why controlling that deck is so very important. Also, as I said earlier in the game, it's a lot to do with Lady Luck, as we just found out, huh, Miriam? Hands on buzzers? Let's find out who controls the deck. Here's our next toss-up question. Ed Sullivan. Next, we have Paul Bunyan. Then we have Merv Griffin. <laughs> Quite a trio. The clue that fits with two of these is they had a really big shoe. Yes, Bob? <laughs> Jim, that fits with... Paul Bunyan yes. and Ed Sullivan. Paul Bunyan and Ed Sullivan. All in big shoes. All right here on our stage. You have control of the deck on our stage, Bob, where it's most important. The card you must decide to place is that card. Whoa, right there, whoa, um, it is a nine. Let me give it to her. Giving the nine right over to Miriam. He's a kind man, isn't he? Yeah, very kind. We have a queen. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Bob tends to like good-looking ladies, don't you? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what the common card is the two of you will share. It's an insurance marker. Oh. 
means whoever wins this game will have two insurance markers when they go play pot limit. Quickly, let's find our common card. It's a two. Oh. Not a bad spread, nine to a two, but a very good spread for you, Bob. A two to a queen. Very important, who controls the deck? Our toss-up question. We have Twilight's Last Gleaming. We have Home of the Brave. And we have Amber Waves of Grain. The clue that fits with two of these is, they're lines from the Star Spangled Banner. Yes, Bob? That fits with Home of the Brave and Twilight's Last Gleaming? Right you are. Woo! Bob, this is for the game. If you're right, do you want to try to fit a card in there? The only card that would beat you would be a king or an ace. Or do you want to try to bust her? I'm going to go for it. You're going to go for it. Go for it. With a lot of confidence, Bob says he's going to go for it. The only card that would beat him would be a queen, uh, I'm sorry, a king or an ace. The card, Bob, is... A fuck! Bob is out of 20 seconds! Congratulations! I'm about to win in a second. Mary, you play. Howard, you have a nice time? Miriam, we have some nice prizes for you backstage. And I gotta tell you, it's, it's kind of sad to say goodbye to such a pretty lady, but we sure enjoyed you gracing our stage and being with us. Say goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, to Miriam Morgan. Bob, Bob has two insurance markers. Bob has been there before. He's already won over $15,000 in cash and prizes. I think this is going to really help him on his quest toward big money and big prizes as we play the most exciting bonus in America, Split Decisions Pot Limit. It's coming up right after this. bonus I promise you is going to be exciting can we start off with a big round of congratulatory applause for our champion Bob Cleveland. Congratulatory applause. I hope I got that. Why are you clapping? Please welcome our chip lady Annette Marroquin. Good to see you Annette. Bob over here guy no. let me explain to you how we play we have a good time and you're enthusiastic but I want to go over these rules very carefully with you because we're playing for a lot of money. This time, since you're not playing an opponent, you're playing the deck, you will play three cards at a time. One in each of the outside positions, plus one in the middle that we hope is the fit. I'll turn the cards over one at a time. After you've seen two, we'll ask you to make a bet. Anywhere from $100 up to everything you have in your hand. Since you have nothing in your hand right now, we'll rectify that, and that will give you $1,000 from our chips over there. Woo! You play that, my friend, and three hands, build it as high as you can. If you get to $2,000, $4,000, or $5,000, talk about jumping up and down. Yeah. Charlie O'Donnell, tell him about what he'll win, please. Reach $2,000, and we'll fly you and a companion to Paris, France. We'll travel by air crash from the beautiful city of love. Visit historic Versailles. Stroll the Champs-Élysées in Left Bank. Eat at Maxime's and party till dawn at the Moulin Rouge. It's a romantic vacation of a lifetime if you win at least $2,000 in cash. One thing could be more exciting than Paris in springtime. That's a winter in Platinum Fox Fur. Reach $4,000, and it's a fashion designer's dream. A full-length natural platinum fox from Dicker & Dicker of Beverly Hills. And what's a fur without a little bobble? So here's a beautiful emerald and diamond ring. One and a half carats of emerald surrounding almost a full carat of diamonds in a unique 18 carat gold setting. And if you win $5,000 or more, it's a new car! A 1985 Lincoln Continental complete with full power options, eight speaker stereo and sunroof. The car plus all the other prizes are yours if you reach $5,000! $2,000 for the trip, $4,000 for the coat for $5,000. Thank you, Rand, I appreciate it. I'll hold the keys for you right over here. While we're down here, these are the two insurance markers that you won in the front game. I'll take those, sir. I'll give you two insurance chips. I told you I'd explain to you what we'll do with them when we get here. You can now use these to change any card in any hand that you don't like. In this deck, the sealed deck, there are four extra aces, four extra twos, four chances for you to make a natural, or four more naturals. Also, there are four jokers. Every time I turn over a joker, Annette, what are you going to do? Bob, I will give you $1,000. Annette, while I open the deck, count them out. $1,000 in chips, please. Nice and slow. 
and one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to play Pot ready? Limit. He has a thousand dollars. I have the first card. It is a three. Whoa, put it on the outside. You want it on the outside. All right, remember again, he's trying to create as wide a spread for himself as he can. We have a Whoa, jack. Okay, other side. Jack goes over here. Woo! The only cards that could beat him would be a two, a king, or an ace, or a queen. How much do you want to bet, sir? I'm going to bet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars, he's betting. Eight hundred dollars. $800 on the turn of a card. That would give him a total of $1,800, put him $200 away from the trip to Paris. He has a five. He is a winner. That's good, Bob. Pay the man, please, $800. Five, six, six seven, $800. Okay. Let's Bob, are you ready for the second hand? You got your chips all in order? I've got them all. All right, sir, I have the cards in order. The first one is a queen. Okay, put it on the outside. You want the queen on the outside. This is the card you will see before you make your second bet. In the second hand, you have an ace. You want it on the outside. All right, you have two insurance markers, which means you can change either of those you I want. want. To, I want to exchange the queen. All right, I'll take this insurance marker, put it in there. I'll change the queen. Remember, also, we're looking for as small a card now as we possibly two. can. Come on, two. What do you think, Come on, audience? Two. It is a two. Now, folks, now, folks, I want to lay this out very carefully, very carefully for Bob. Bob, there is no way you can lose. No How way. much do you want to bet? I want to bet it all. Eighteen hundred dollars riding on the turn of a card. If it's a joker, we'll add an extra thousand. It is an eight. Pay the man eighteen. all up, Bob. It's all yours. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Unless you want to share some with your old dealer over here. No, we can't I'm do that. that we can't do that. You ready, sir? You're going for the car. You got $3,600. The first card that you will bet on in the third and final hand is a joke. Whoa! Whoa! $4,000. You're $400 away from that car. The card is a three. Put it on the outside. The card goes on the outside. The card in the center that you're playing with is a five. You still have an insurance marker. Uh, leave away with this. That is a smart bet. That is a smart thing to do, I think. Of course, the last time I was right, everybody's screaming bet it all. It's your choice, sir. This card must be a five, six, seven, all the way to an ace. It's your bet. Um, how much do I have again? You have. $4,600. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with $600. you are going to bet $600. That would ensure you have the fur coat and the trip to yeah, Paris. Right, right. You have the fur coat. You have the trip. I'm so nervous I can't talk. <laughs> the fur coat, the trip yeah. to Paris on the turn of this card. If this card is between a five and an ace. You have a brand new $21,000 car. What do you think? Yes. Is yes. he a winner? He is a winner! Yes. Congratulations. That's it. It's all yours. Pay the man. Yes. $5,200. He's won the car, the fur coat, and the trip to two to Paris. We'll be back to total it all up and meet a new player right after this. Congratulations. I was wondering, I was wondering, as long as I have them,
can I borrow the car? Not tonight. <laughs> it's not every day you get a chance to hand a man the keys to his own $21,000 car. Bob has won $5,200 in cash. He has won $32,000 in prizes. Champ, Bob. <laughs> Added to his previous total of $15,400, the gentleman I'm standing next to has walked away with $52,600. this time, but we're running just a little late. You'll excuse us if we have to run. Be with us tomorrow when once again we play uh, America's newest, most exciting card game, Split Decision. Bye-bye, everybody. is a Richard Reed production.